Welcome back to Week of the Podcast. I'm your host, Owen, and today we have some draft aficionados here, and we're going to play a little fun game. Uh, it is, as of recording, two days away from the draft, uh, and we want to I, – I, this is kind of – I'm doing a, a thing. I don't know if you guys know. I'm doing, like, different kinds of mock drafts this week for the channel, so I did my final what I would do mock draft uh, two days ago. We're doing this one, and then I'm going to do a predictive one I'm going to drop on, the thir- on Thursday. So uh, this is the second of three mock drafts we're going to be pumping out here. And the mock draft we're doing today is we're just drafting a starting 22 of just draft eligible players. So we're going to go in a snake type draft and we already pre pre picked who goes when uh, Moss is going to go first. Actually here, I can move it around. So it reflects the order on the screen. Here we go. Moss goes first, then I'm in the middle and then Scotty will round it out. And we'll, if we want to have discussion about our picks, we can, um, we can build our teams however we want. And we're just going to try to breeze through these 22 rounds and give some insight on some players that, uh, probably need a little more discussion or some decision making we're gonna make, we're gonna make that the other one other ones might uh confuse do either of you have a specific draft strategy coming into this like who what kind of players you're gonna pick early who you want to target specifically well, must take my xavier that. worthy i can see that already. value probably I might give away my plan so i'm not giving away i'm not giving away <laughs> usc in the first two packs that's all i'm about to say <laughs> all right so without further ado uh, Moss, you're up first on the podium, so you have the first overall pick, and I will go second, and we'll snake back around after Scotty. So go ahead, Moss, with the pick. Who is the first overall player in this uh, twenty-two starting twenty-two mock draft? Forgive the possible delay we're gonna have when you stop and I. But well, the one we're gonna go with, uh, who I think is QB one in Drake May. Okay, so we have a QB off the board first. That was stupid. So Drake Drake May is gone. Oh, you thought that was stupid, Scotty? First the first round QB is crazy. Oh, okay, good. We're on the same page here. Because okay, with my first round pick, uh, and I was hoping this, and this is who I was gonna take first overall, even if it came to me, and this is gonna play into my draft set strategy a bit. Let me write them down so I don't forget. But my first overall pick, or first pick in the or First round pick, second overall. I'm taking Peyton Wilson, linebacker from NC State. Whoa, okay. 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 Scotty, round us out with this first. Uh, uh, that was end going. this first round. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it in a second. But Scotty, give us our first our first uh, closing well, round pick. I'm I'm gonna take Joel, left tackle. Solid, solid. I gotta scratch him off my board now because he is the epitome of left tackle here. So I can understand. Left Joel going. Uh, left tackles that are that good are probably not hard to come by. Uh, Moss, QB first round. Any reason specifically? Yeah, I need to hear this. So, okay. So my thing is, um, I think Drake May is by a, a little bit ahead of all the other quarterbacks. So it's a matter of, so if I'm you know building a team, I need my signal caller to really be the guy. And I think Drake May is the guy. Here's all I'm and in retrospect, that. I mean, Peyton Wilson, Joe All, I can. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Scotty. As I'm going to take, I mean, you probably got Drake May in the ninth round, probably. Yeah, I don't, I don't have quarterback in my you you I, when I wrote, me <laughs> I wrote down a bunch of players as who I was targeting early, and not one of them was quarterback. <laughs> Same. So. Right, I, get so, I get that. Scotty, you want to start us off at the beginning of the second round here? Uh, okay. We're gonna take this. This is I'm gonna build the best O line of all time. Uh, I'm going Olu Fashanu. Joe Alt right yeah, tackle, Olu left tackle. <laughs> Joe Alt right tackle. Yeah, Olu Olu at I love left. it. Okay, I'm actually going the complete opposite direction of you. I'm going to continue on defense. I'm going to take uh, Dallas Turner. I'm going to play him at like hybrid edge outside linebacker. All right, and I, I will close out the second round, taking corner Quinion Mitchell. Solid, solid. So, Moss, you went quarterback, then cornerback. Scotty went back-to-back O-linemen, and I went yes. doubled up on the defense specifically if you want to look at linebackers for both, but Turner's really a edge rusher, so 
I, I I'm, I'm starting to see what what kind of what kind of what kind of thing strategy you're coming in here with this. Did you were you planning on taking a corner second with your second pick, or are you did you like kind of shift when you saw what our uh, methods were, Moss? It, it was it was somewhat of like a like a read like um I obviously want to get the quarterback of the defense I think Quinion Mitchell's one of those players it was just a matter of who went off the board first and if the linebackers are already gone then that leaves corner really so so all right if no other questions let's head on to the third round go ahead Moss you kick us off all right with my Third round pick, I am going to take. We're going to go Jackson Powers Johnson Shit. on the interior. You're a motherfucker. Love my I head. fucking hate you. You're Love a you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I know I'm going. I know I'm going. All right. I'm torn on who I want to go now because I have no, I know. had plans. Oh, that's a great I pick, by the way. Great pick. Yeah, well, JBJ is a fantastic pick. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. JC Latham. You gotta be joking! I just want him in too. <laughs> you know like he's my one. favorite. I exactly fucking love JC Latham. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking about going one way or the other, but when you said, "Oh, I know who I'm going to, I'm going to pivot to," I was like, "There's no way he's leaving Latham for me." This is interesting, though. Oh, that, I wasn't even going to go a line yet, but you were going to take Latham. I, I was I'm, I'm, I'm taking uh, Troy Fatanu, slam into guard. All right, so you got Fatanu at guard. So far, I've only been slammed by Moss. I like that one. I My like list has one. not had anybody else taken yet. <laughs> Just, Moss, you're a motherfucker. You know that. That killed me. Why? Why did you go JPJ? Why you? You went. You went quarterback. Corner, <laughs> center. I try. <laughs> I wasn't even going to go like that. So, I was in the like I again. mentioned before, it's a it's a positional value thing. You look at the. I think there's only like three true interior linemen that are worth mentioning, and I, and I classify last them as a tackle. So. Outside of those three, I mean, it, it gets it gets thin quick. So, a lot of my tackles go to guard, so I have a decent amount still left. But I was gonna say I have Latham here penciled in as guard, but I don't know if it, depending on how the tackles go, I might have to put him at tackle. But who will see? Because there's a lot of tackles I'd be willing to take that were just shots in the dark at tackle. Get the two main ones all the off the board. That's fair. Right. All right, so got to kick us kick us off with the fourth round here. All right, I'm I'm going with my I'm going with another guard here, I'm going for Waga. You're a f- motherfucker. <laughs> that was gonna be my right tackle. I was gonna have <laughs> Waga and Latham next to each other on the right side of my offensive line. Good luck, man. <laughs> that would have been nasty. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. My O line just gonna be so good. Like that's. You can try to see what I'm trying to flying off faster than I thought. That is, that is fair. Yeah, that is I was trying to it off of the blind. I, I was like trying to build is, this this absolute powerhouse, and you took everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna yeah, say? We're getting the hogs in there first, the big boys. Huh? Okay. Well, the, the not hogs. that I. Okay, I personally. Don't have this player valued in the first round in like my actual big board, but with the scarcity at positional with the positions right now, I'm gonna have to reach it that um are already. So I'm gonna take uh, Amarius Mims for my right tackle. I like that one. Have him next to JC. Did you just take Mims? I did. I didn't even have him written down because I thought I'd get Fuaga, no doubt. All right, I no, will. No, he drafted. I will make the uh, the final fourth round pick after versatility and lock in my slot player as Cooper the Gene. I like it. God damn it! <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't taking him, but I like it. I was, I was gonna. Well, I, that's who I was gonna take before Scotty in, indicated he was gonna take Latham. 
I was going to be like, okay, DeGene, I can dra- grab him. And then if like safety start going or slot corners start going or outside corners start going, I can always just slide him wherever I need him to be. <laughs> but hey, I have no yeah, no, I got a little no, scared me. from the offensive line, the offensive line merchant over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> offensive line uh, bridge, yeah. So, Scotty, read me off your offensive line right now. You're only missing a center, right? I have uh, Joe Alt, white tackle. For, uh, actually, well, Fatanu would be what, left. Okay, so Olu's left tackle, Fatanu's left guard, Fuaga's white guard, Joe Alt, white tackle. That's disgusting. No one's going to be like... That's solid. I think I'm <laughs> chilling for a little bit. Yeah, yeah that, that's very solid. And then... So right now my positions are I have Mims right tackle late. I know they're all guard, rookies, but like that's then, a serviceable. Oh, that's a that's a start. That's a starting Kelly Robinson. Those are all guys we're going to go in the first, like in the actual draft. Yeah. Defense, I got Turner and Wilson, and that's about it. I, I'm a little I'm a little sp- more spread out than I wanted to be so far. Moss, you want to read off your picks for the first four? Um, I went with Drake May, Quinn Mitchell, Jackson Powers Johnson, and Cooper DeGene to kind of lock up, you know, every facet of the game. Okay, and then you want to lead us off on the fifth round? Yes, I will. And I'll take May's first weapon and Marvin Harrison Jr. Nah, that's, 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 a safe, that's a safe one. Solid. Yeah, I was going to say that you can't really go wrong with that one. Let's look at my list now. Okay. So with what I'm trying to run here, I still need left tackle. They're all, all basically gone. I wasn't going to prioritize off the line this early. And I thought neither would Scotty because I thought he was going to take his boy in Kingsley, whatever the hell his last name is. I love Kingsley. I thought I had, was safe to just let him. Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought I thought Scotty wouldn't hold off and take his boy, but he didn't. He went for all the top talent. <laughs> I have guards and center options that I'm more comfortable with. So left tackle is the thing I'm having a problem with right now. So I think I might just take my next best available left tackle, even though I'm not super thrilled by it. I mean, he got, he's got the size. He's got the size. Fuck it. All right. We're going to go Tyler Guyton, left tackle. Okay. Big dude can move. Out of Oklahoma. Just need... Uh, uh, yeah, those those left tackles are going a little too quick for my blood, so I don't, I don't, I don't right, want to so be stuck with Patrick Paul. The game plan is working right now. Perfectly. Uh, <laughs> next pick, Yatu Latu. Solid, solid. Okay. It's what you Are they got, first you defensive player? Of, yeah. I you shouldn't be surprised def- you're building through the trenches. Hmm? So I shouldn't be surprised you're building through the trenches. Go ahead. I think that's his so first you know, not alignment. No, I haven't. Yeah. You know, it's, all it's technically a D lineman. <laughs> it's a okay. lineman. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and then... Uh, Kicks off on the six. Technically well. a lineman. Uh, so I'm going to take Johnny Newton, D tackle. Solid. Yeah, Moss, you might be fucked. <laughs> okay. You're, you're running out of line, offensive lineman here really quickly. <laughs> Why is that? Because there's already been seven taken. <laughs> no, eight, because you took JPJ. I have four. There's been eight taken already. I have three of them. That's all right. I think there's value late. So. Scotty's taking D alignment now. I'm, I, 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 I like the I like the large majority of the D line that I, I can get for my for the scheme I'm running. I don't I'm not going to press too much. I think I'm going to secure my center because I know Scotty still needs a center, and there's only one left that I really I would really like for the power scheme I want to run. So I'm going to take uh, Cedric Van Pran from Georgia. Oh, I wasn't even considering him. I'm chilling with that. Okay. I like that. I'm chilling oh, with that well, one. It was between him. I'm a big, I'm a big Zach Frazier guy, but not for, uh, not for his power scheme. So I needed a center that could fit that specifically. I'm, I'm good with that one. I'm. 
All right, Moss. All right, I'll close out the round, taking one of the tackles I'm high on, which is Anim Dankwa. Is that the yell dude? Oh, no. I no, that's uh, Howard. I, who the Howard? hell is... Who is that? <laughs> You never. That is a. Gank was. Uh, he's a. He's the left tackle at Howard University. I'll, I'll put him on my list to watch. I guess. <laughs> I've never heard of him. We're two years out of draft. I've never heard of him. Well, I'm gonna I'm I'm put him on my list. I still think you gotta do some tackles so. though. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I'll put him on my list. That's... Do you want to give like a quick synopsis of what you like about him? Yeah, yeah. Don't. I never heard of this guy. So. And so it's a matter of he has the athleticism to play tackle in the NFL. It's, there's just going to be a learning curve. But I think at the height of that curve, he can be what you know a top 15, 20 left tackle, which is serviceable. And if they're going to be going this quick, then I have to get one. He's six eight, big boy. Three six eight. The really big so, guy. he took a left tackle at the end of the sixth. You want to so kick us off at the start of the seventh? Let's get this ball a rolling. Yes, it is on me. So, we are going to go with defensive tackle Braden Fisk. Fisky. Really? We're going with some Fisky action. Okay. Land Zilline has the guy Moss. Talk in the seventh round or UDFA, so I'm not mad. Two <laughs> down. So. Yo, Fisk. I think could honestly be a first round pick. No, 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 no. The left tackle. The oh, left tackle. not Fisky, not Fisky, not Fisky. I was gonna say the Howard guy. No, I, I like Dankwa. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with offense. I was I thought originally I was gonna attack defense a lot more frequently early on in this draft, but the way it's looking right now, I'm gonna just stick with offense here. I'm gonna take uh Brock Bauer as the tight end out of Georgia. A good pick. Really keep cementing that run game. He's a nice pass option too. Exactly. Nice option I think too. I think Okay. There's a there's a drop off from him to number two, and he can block in my run game with me while also providing some passing options. So I like him there where I got him. I'm up, I'm up, but yep, uh, I'm taking Byron Murphy, D tackle, Texas. Fuck him. Just straight up, just all the trenches, huh? Oh yeah. So you got? Are you what 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 defensive scheme are you running? You laying a four three or running a three four? Oh uh, nickel. So four four. Four D linemen, two linebacker, one stock corner. So, so between between Murphy and, and Newton, who's the no, who's the one tech? I am. It's probably gonna be Murphy. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope he can bulk up a little bit. Oh, I was gonna I say like, that, those tackles. Unless I take Mason Smith, on, I'm taking it. If you put, if you put, you said, well, wait, wait, you just, you just make your next pick? Or are you saying Mason Smith? No, I'm not, I said I'm not going to take Mason Smith, and that's be the, the the nose tackle I'll take. So I'm just stacking up on hopefully these guys can beat your pass rush. Oh, your pass block. I don't pass rush, obviously. That's, cool. I'm, that's fair. But I don't know. I don't know if Byron, Byron Murphy's going to be able to hold up against fucking oh, Mary Sims and J.C. Latham getting absolutely running out of his throat. He might not, but not if I get the white right linebacker and slot corner in there. That's fair. That's fair. Have some fun, well, you know. Who's your who's your eighth round pick here? Jared Verse. Jared Verse, solid like one, solid one. I, I, I do enjoy. I do like that one there. All right, I am kind of lost in the weeds right now because all the guys I wrote down, the, some of these guys I wrote down are my later round picks that I was looking to get. Now I just have to look to see what kind of position I want to target specifically. Now that I have, I should probably go look more towards defense. Verse would have been nice here. I don't like any of my D-tackle options at the moment. Because the two, the two I w- would have taken are gone. Um, 
Let's take a position I feel like there's not a lot of depth to. We're going to grab safety Tyler Newbin from Minnesota. Mm-hmm. That was my max. We're going to be running split safety here, so he'll be my strong safety. I was hoping to have him and Dijon. Strong safety for Newbin? Yeah, he's like 6'3", 230. I know, but he plays fluid. I almost feel like he's a better fit as a free. That, I mean, that that's even better. If my strong safety can g- still cover a deep corner or a deep yeah. half, then I'm, I'm happy with that. I can run a lot of multiple looks. See, I'm not a big Newbin nah, guy, that. so I think there's way better safety. Oh. Well, no, wait, I'm not either. Safeties. I have him. I have him as a third round pick, graded wise. Uh, I just haven't really hit safeties all that much, and I just know I know what I'm getting with him. I know what what he is and what he provides. I've had some safeties, so um, I'm comfortable with that one. Very I hit a few today, but I'm not I'm not over the moon about any of the guys I saw. All right. Well, I will close out the round solidifying my corner room with Nate Wiggins out of Clemson. You can have him. <laughs> Not a fan? That's Moss's prototype right there. Hey, you know me, size. <laughs> if you can play, you can play. Man, he has little T-Rex arms. I hate it. Hey, he can catch up to any receiver on the field. I like Nate Wiggins. I like Nate Wiggins. I just, I just, I, that's just a must pick. I, just, I, I have his, I like his, his, his Good. I like his versatility to play man or zone. So I have him as a two. Down. Yeah, I, I have him as a two. I think I would like him more if he played a little more physical. And whenever I, I just every time I was watching him, every time I would see the ball thrown at a corner, or he'd have great coverage, but he, he his ability to play the ball at the catch point was so bad because he was either too out of position, not physical enough to win at the catch point. Or his arms are too short to actually get a hand in there. So it was just like, hey, I don't really see a lot of playmaking upside. But all right, Moss, you've, you've now got two corners in Quinn Mitchell and Nate Wiggins. Where are you going to head with your, with your next pick in the ninth round? We're going to go back to the offensive side of the ball. And we're going to get my wide receiver two in Xavier Worthy. I fucking knew that was coming. I knew it. I almost drafted him just to spite you. <laughs> I looked at wide receiver. I looked, when I picked Brock Bowers, I was like, I need a wide receiver. I need an offensive weapon of some kind. And I was like, I could just go worthy just to stick it to Moss. <laughs> I, 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 I not- truly think worthy has one of the best set, one of the best sets of hands in this draft class. Mm. If he was, if he wasn't 170 pounds, it would be a whole different story. Mm-hmm. I will I will politely disagree with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm up again. See, I don't I feel like wide receiver is so deep. I don't want to waste a pick on it right now, even though I don't have any in my roster. Uh, we're gonna go. With a guy I just got to watching today, just to be able to round out and take, just be to feel confident in this position group, so that way I don't have to worry about it come later in the draft. And we're gonna go Edrian Cooper, the linebacker from Texas A and M. I like that one. He can be more my downhill, explosive, you know, big shot player. While I have uh, Peyton Wilson being the real responsible coverage guy. Uh, okay. I'm taking uh, Tayon Arnold next. Solid, solid. You can have him. I, I just don't know where they're going now. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know my next pick. I don't know if you want to go over the line or not. Um, I feel like we talked about a good deal. We talked about Worthy. We talked about why I went with Cooper. Arnold's a good pick. He's my he's my cornerback one, so I'm not going to argue with that. I know Moss. This feels differently, but I feel like you still need a corner, and he's kind of up there on a consensus board, so I can understand that. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I mean, I'm just going to show up to take Romo Dunze at this point. Want a Dunze over neighbors? Interesting. All right. No, I think that's too interesting. No, I don't think that's outrageous. I don't think it's the biggest leap. 
ninety because I have them really close. I think most I people know, do. I have old Dunes as a ninety one, neighbors as a ninety. So like the neck and neck. Yeah. I lied. I have I have a I have a four point difference. I have a ninety one on neighbors and an eighty seven on Rodunze. So I just put for a Dunze for more as the pure X outside guy. And I don't think neighbors neighbors hasn't really shown he can do that, in my opinion. He's more like the Z slot type dude. He's still a dog, but like yeah, this is a pure X without more of that. I'm just gonna take a Dunze. Moss, if you don't mind, I don't, you don't have to answer this because I know we're in the draft war room here. But have you have you revealed what kind of defensive front you're running? I have a uh, four two five nickel. That's four two five uh, nickel. Gene is my clock. That's what I'm so doing. Got, you're also running a four two five. I'm running a three three five. With okay. with my third, it's it's really it's a really a four two five because my third linebacker is Dallas Turner, but yeah. I trust him to drop in the coverage like, enough that he plays that almost like Micah Parsons role, where he can just kind of be wherever he wants. Yeah, and that, that's that's exactly why I prioritize in the second. So I'm not too worried about you guys taking my potential three down my three down lineman because I have, I'm specifically looking for guys who play five tech and zero tech. And I doubt you guys are going to be drafting any of those guys. So I should. I'm just talking through my process real quick. I probably should go corner because they're coming off the board pretty fast. I don't have a first round corner left, I don't think. No, because DeGene, Mitchell, and Arnold are all gone. So I'm going to look into the second round. I Nate Wiggins is gone. Yeah, I, de- I definitely have to take a swing here because I'm not, not a fan of a lot of the guys that are left. We're going to go with my next best corner. Somebody's going to play that uh, aggressive style of defense. We're going to run the ball, play aggressive defense. Even though he's not super high up on my board, he's a low two. I'm going to take uh, Ennis Rankstraw. Okay. I don't hate that one. I, I watched him, and I immediately thought, okay, that's a Dan Campbell. I don't have him as a first-round pick, but yeah. I, I mock him to the Lions all the time because that's a Dan Campbell corner right there. No, I get that. Um, all right. Let's see. I think I'm going to take a swing here, and I'm going to okay. take offensive lineman Graham Barton. Oh, and shit, that's my center. <laughs> so, I have oh, him as... Oh, a guy, a silver guy, a silver guy, a guy. Uh, I have him as an interior. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep him there. I was thinking about moving him to the, the other tackle. Is he center or guard for you? For me, he's a guard. Oh, I see that. That's a- <laughs> he, he didn't even take him for center. <laughs> That was when you glagged out. Scotty was like, "Oh, my center's gonna be Graham Barton." I have one. I have. I have a center. I have a center. All right, Moss, take us to the halfway round here. I gotcha. I will round out the middle of my defensive line and take my one technique in Cavandre Wet. All right. Solid pick there. Like I said, I'm not really afraid of any of you guys. I have a lot of down linemen I like for the three four system here with like a, with what I'm trying to run. So I'm not too worried about that. you guys taking those guys. I have a lot of options. Uh, I think I need to go corner again because again, I don't have a lot of corners. I'm like over the moon about when it comes to outside right now. Like I'm not a big Kool Aid guy. Um, so I, I need I need to focus on what kind of corners. Like specifically outside, I know there's some slot options. I can always grab a safety to play slot, like how Dijin is. Hmm. The, pro- the problem is, is I'm not even that crazy about Rakestraw, and if I'm going to run a defense with Rakestraw as my number one corner, I'm going to need to play a lot of man coverage. Mm-hmm. So there's a guy oh, out boy. there you can run a lot of man coverage with. There's a guy out there. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm assuming. Are you, I don't know. That is out there. I, that you can I'm put thinking, man coming. I'm, gonna I'm not gonna say. His I name. think I'm gonna take there it. There is one. There is one. Well, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the guy I think I associate most with press man coverage right now. And that's TJ Tampa. That's exactly from what Iowa I was State. About. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, just absolutely I, long. Will fucking kill people on my scrimmage. I am not high on TJ Tampa at all. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna take Malik Neighbors. Yeah, I think I think neighbors? 
Yeah, like, why not? <laughs> At this point. And then... Uh, well, do you want to talk or no? You can go ahead. There's not okay, much to say so there. I'm going to take my other corner, and I know you do not like them, Owen. But I'm bringing the Alabama boys back with each other. I'm taking Kool-Aid. You're going to get cooked. You're going to get cooked. I know you don't like them, but... I don't like Kool-Aid at all. Let's bring the boys back together. I needed a corner for the sure. next one I have. Is a guy I love, but I don't think I want to take him. It's it's Max Melton. I, he's kind of like a slot guy. So yeah. And when man, I was up, but. I uh, I don't I don't like TJ Tampa or Ennis Rakeshaw like a lot. Like I have him as like late twos, early threes, but I like him more than I like Kool Aid, who's like a mid to late three for me. So, so I have him not, as a early two. So that's a difference that we have. There you go. All right. I think I can switch. I got to start. These wide receivers are coming off. You guys both have two wide receivers. I have really. I don't think I have a lot of pressure for you guys taking another one. So I can just take. I'm going a lot more scheme fit with this. So my offense is really geared around running the ball and then working kind of some deep play action. I need a guy who can stretch the field uh, while also, you know, winning some downfield balls, winning some contested catch stuff because it's going to be one on one a lot. Oh, I don't like my options because I don't like the players that do that that are still available. But at the same time, we're gonna, okay. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with Ed and I Mitchell. Oh, I love that. That was my next pick. I'm not. A, I'm not a huge Mitchell guy. I have I'm him as like a high. I like as a mid mid to high second, but like that might be the biggest I guy. Out. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see my diary. And now I close out the round with. Let me double check if it's on the board after I lagged out. Is Chop Robinson still out there? Yes. Yep, he's still yes. there. And that'll be him. Go take him. You can have him. Dude's only <laughs> pass off shooting, just one of on the guy. That's all he has. Here, here's here's my thing. When we when you have Braden Fisk and Tavandre Sweat in the middle of the defensive line, he's going to be able to just run around the guy. You got Chop Robinson and Braden Fisk on the same D line. There's just going to be giant I, gaps in your run block. The whole line, line is going to destroy your D line. It's just no doubt about it's a, it's a it. Just run away from Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, send us to the third here, Moss. Or thirteenth. Sorry, right. not third. Thirteenth. I think I will go we're going to go back to tackle and we're going to take Jordan Morgan out of Arizona a tackle or a guard a tackle I want him as a guard personally I have him as a tackle his arms are very short I have him as a right tackle I don't, I don't like him as a left but I mm-hmm. see him as like a pole swing tackle on the right side. Okay, so I'm probably going to take another wide receiver just to finish this out. So I have my bigger body guy, Adonai Mitchell. I need somebody who is going to be able to work the middle of the field for me. Uh, I mean, I have Brock Bowers from the middle of the field. I'm not too impressed about that. Maybe I just go for more of an all-around guy. I think I have the explosiveness with Mitchell. I have... More bigger body target with Bowers. I'm going to take my next highest graded receiver available or left. Oh, I should have went with Leggett for instead of Mitchell. I do like him a little more. Fuck it. We'll go Leggett here. We'll go Xavier Leggett to pair with Ed and I Mitchell. And then I'll just run. I'll, I'll, I wasn't going to run a slot corner or a slot wide receiver. I was debating it if I wanted to or not, but I'll probably look after this now. But so now I have Leggett and Mitchell on my outside. I like, I like Leggett. That's. That's my Buffalo go get guy. No, oh, might as well. Okay, this is more of a scheme guy here. That's a dude is gonna be like your ex. Neighbors is gonna be in the guy in the slot. Flying Thomas Jr. is gonna be my fucking Z. I know you guys don't, <laughs> okay, I don't like him too much. But why is he thirteen right there? Him like I like what TFG said today. I watched his mock draft. Like him and like the Colts offense is like money. 
And this yeah. is kind of why I agree. Going on. So that's why it's scheme wise, it's perfect. I also have an early two on them. So it's not. I'm higher than you guys. Yeah. I have I have like an early to mid three on them. And then. I don't know how you, I'm just going to go Caleb Williams. Like, my offense is fucking stacked. Why not just take a quarterback now? I get that. Is he going to be okay with handing the ball off as much as you're going to want to hand it off? Why I have my. I have a Dunze, Brian Thomas Jr., and Neighbors. Why do I hand the ball off? I was going to say. Because you built a bunch of he ballers. Offensive line. This is going to be pass protected. Like, Ola's a pass protector. Ola's a pass protector. <laughs> he can do everything. But Tyler is better than pass blocking, in my opinion. And Fawaga is kind of your mauler guy. But that man like, why do I hand the ball off? Snap, kick step, I was about to run the ball. But so when I have a Dunze, Brian Thomas Jr., and Malik Neighbors all on the same team, why would I run the ball? <laughs> like all right, I'm gonna okay. So I have a lot of scheme based guys I have left to pick. Like I'm all my all my D linemen, none of them I think are gonna be hot, super high graded guys for me. Uh, my slot, I could go slot corner. I think I'm going to. I think I have one guy in mind specifically. Um. That I'm gonna take there, and it's not it's not Scotty's guy. Uh, it's kind of Scotty's guy, but it's not Scotty's guy. It's not Max Melvin. It's gonna be. His, it's his it. guy from Michigan. Fuck, that's it's what? Mike Mike Sandersill. I love Mike Sandersill. How do you, talk, how do you say his name? Sandersill. Yeah, he, I, he's so good. He's so good. He's gonna be. A yeah, star. I'm taking him as my slot corner. He's gonna be an absolute stud. That's a that's a great selection right there. And I'm kind of forcing Max Martin, but that's my boy, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Moss, end this round out with the with the uh, here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna finish out. Yeah, we're gonna finish out our edge here with hmm, choosing between a few different ones. Last is gone. So we're gonna go. We're gonna reunite the Penn State boys and go with Disa Isaac. Okay. Go ahead. That's fine. Perfectly fine with me. Not huge on the Penn State guys, huh? Not really. Uh, I have Chop as like a high two. Isaac, I have as like. I have a three on him. I think I have a two on him, but like. I don't. They're my edge three and four. Uh, And. Once Verse and Turner are off the board, I mean. Where is Isaac? Oh, Isaac, I have, I have a high three. Chop, I have a high two. I mean, not outrageous if, you know, Latu, Turner, Verse are already gone. How many more edge rushers can really go? Yeah, you're not wrong. That's why I kind of went with the scheme I went with, because I knew the edge rushers were very much... I knew you guys were probably going to go four threes. You're going to want two edge rushers. And if I go with three, four, I only really need the one. And the, and the nice part is Isaac and Robinson are both speed rushers, and Fisk is Fisk also is a speed rusher. But it, when he's able to play the three tech, especially next to it to Andre Sweat, everything kind of p- plays out how it's supposed to. You can run yeah. the ball. I don't hit, but my phone refreshed, so I had to leave and rejoin. So let's see. All right, I think this pick is going to seem kind of odd, but for. Most my of first, <laughs> for my first inside <laughs> linebacker, we're going to go James Williams out of Miami. Oh, James. Come on, man. James Williams? James, James Williams. No shot. What do you mean, no shot? There's so many better players than James fucking Williams. <laughs> they can have. Yeah, but, but he's playing for, safety. He's a safety. I, but he's 6'3", 220. He can he's make a that safety. Grip. It's, oh, I, I, I look Tony at him as making, making his bitch the whole fucking time. <laughs> I look at him as the same as. But first of all, it's a it's a it's a defense Jeez. made to defend the pass. That's it. And James Williams reminds me of making a switch that uh, I don't know if y'all know, but Hamza Nasiruddin did with the Jets, where he yeah. was a safety at Florida State, and now he's the you know will side linebacker. Yeah, he's mid. <laughs> I think. So. <laughs> better and can do the same thing. 
All right. Uh, well, to just to go through my thinking again, I have a slot receiver, left guard, quarterback, running back, three D lineman, and, and a safety left that I need to draft. Um, oh, I don't know Owens left my back. What's that? I don't know who it is. I know I'm gonna say it, but I know exactly what it is. What do you say? What my next my my, my next pick is no, my final round. Last pick. pick in the draft. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> it was gonna be Wade Davis. Oh, I'm 100 percent targeting Ray Davis. You know, I'm, exactly. but I mean, I'm not. I'm not mad if I don't get Ray Davis, but I'm definitely. He's my. He's my first option when it comes to running backs. I think I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna secure my first of my down D lineman. I wasn't worried because Scotty said he wasn't gonna take him. I'm gonna take Mason Smith, the D lineman out of LSU. He's gonna be my well, my one of my five tags. Because I don't have any D tackle spots left. So you could. Well, so that's why I. I think he works because he's so tall and long, you know, he is kind of a heavier handed guy. So you want to make him play nose and he played nose at LSU a little bit. I think we're using his athletic profile and the length he has in the more congested spots in the NFL, especially if I was going to put him at zero tech, his length would kind of betray him a little bit more. Whereas you put on five tech, he has a little bit more room to work. And I feel like he can punish those offense tags a little more than he can on the interior. I get that. So I don't know if I should just right, keep Scotty. going EPA and just keep fucking you guys over, or should I actually take a position? Listen, e- even even though you have this stacked offense, it's not going to see the field because I'm just running the ball down your throat twenty plays a drive. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have a draft a guy that's gonna stop that. Junior Colson out of Michigan. Ooh, you got a linebacker that's gonna get fucking two linemen in this glap because Johnny Newton's gonna overshoot Junior the run. Colson. And- yeah, that's your thumper <laughs> right there. He's he can stop the one like no other. And if I want to run the ball, I could too because I have the best on line of all time. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I have my team's fucking stacked. Like, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna sell the bag and take a fucking shit running back. He's gonna run. He's gonna take Trent Richardson. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna take a safety right now. I'm gonna take my boy Cole Bishop out of Utah. Oh, saw that coming. Okay. That's my boy. He's Micah Hyde oh. ass. He's, he's going to be a dog. He's a special teamer for six years before he does anything productive. Uh, he's, he's, he's played slot corner a lot of Utah. He, he, he's, I'm telling you, he's going to be a fucking stud. I have a first one grand. He's going to be a fu- He's going to be one of the more. That's, that's, that's something. Okay. Uh, you took so. a Howard offensive tackle, so I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. The shade is flying now. All right, so for my other, I'm gonna take another D lineman. So I took Mason Smith as my first five tech. For my other five tech, I'm taking Darius Robinson, the defensive lineman out of Missouri. I like that one. He can play anywhere. Who? Darius, I hate Darius Robinson. Okay, okay. I hate you. What I have left on this board, I could. Snipe. All right. All right, Moss, you're up. Yeah, I'll close out the round with my first safety in Cam Kenshin. You're a motherfucker. Great. That's not who I was. You're a cock gobbler. I'm not a Kitchens fan at all. I love I'm very happy. I I knew knew his ass wasn't going to take him. I was hoping no one else would because I needed... (laughs) A free safety to go with Nubit. That's my strong. I know. That's your strong. Hopefully. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got to see how the rest of this goes, but hopefully. That's an interesting thing to say. I think Kinchins, when he went through all of his testing, it was a, he tested out as a to be a strong safety. I think everyone going into, into <laughs> Going into the nah, combine, he's not free, I don't care about the combine results unless the guy wants like a four nine. But I don't. I, he's definitely a free safety. I I, I, I liked him a lot I, when I watched his tape, but then like he's definitely not a guy you're gonna put in the box. Like he's my only thing is I, he reminds me kind of like that Jordan Poyer esque, the undersized but still plays in the box like. It's a matter of I, the only reason I don't think he was playing strong safety at Miami is because James Williams is playing strong safety, and you're not going to put a six three two twenty three. 
shit. All right, I'm up. Yeah. No, so, no. Scotty, how many safeties you got on your team? Oh, I'm oh no, it's Moss again. I'm not going to tell you shit. Go ahead, Moss. I'm not going to tell you shit. Um, <laughs> you stack I have, I have three different safeties I can take at any point, so I don't care what you can you take. Cause you I'm going to lock up my favorite at the position, and we're going to take Braylon Allen at running back. <laughs> And uh, I knew that was happening. <laughs> Xavier Worthy and Braylon Allen were my two locks for to go with the Moss's team this this draft. I, running back, I monster. feel like there's no like I gotta check something. There's no this is the guy. There's just there's a lot of running back. Yeah. And now I mean with the offensive line you're building right now, he's gonna have to drag four defenders every time he touches the ball, so I might as well have the strongest guy. <laughs> All right. Well, so I'm gonna run up my safety duo because I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna lose out on a guy I'm gonna like. Uh, and this last guy is probably the only one left on there that I'm like super hyped for the position I want to put him in. And that's gonna be uh, Dadrian Taylor Demerson from Texas Tech. He's he's good. He's he's very good. He's he was what I was looking at, but he doesn't fit my system, so it's fine. Yeah. Call you Cole Bishop. Okay. So. Yeah, that's fine because I have Newbin. I can rotate them both. I'm going to take, I am going to finish out my secondary here. Uh, I don't know if you have heard this guy, but I'm going to go Tyke Smith at slot corner. I have heard of this guy. I like Tyke. He's good. He's the safety from Georgia. Yeah. yeah. He's going to play uh, yeah. TFG. Just talking about him. I have the same opinion on him. He, he's going to go down and play slot. He's going to be a stud. And like then, Over Max, Max Melton, your boy? Max Mullen is my boy, but sometimes you can't take all my boys. I'm taking best players here. Yeah. Uh, then for my other safety, my strong safety, I'm going to take a Brett Coleman guy, uh, Jaden Hicks of Washington no, State. That, that's why I said I want to continue He's to good. Play He is something. He can hit. He's a big-ass motherfucker. There's a hit. Was a game, but there's a hit over the middle, and he just fucking killed him. So... <laughs> That's that's gonna be my guy in the box flying around trying to make some plays, but yeah, yeah I, love, I like that a lot. With Cole Bishop, especially. All right, I have nose tackle, quarterback, running back, guard left. I don't think my guard is gonna get taken by either of you guys. I don't think my nose tackle is gonna be taken by either of you guys. Me, both of you already have a quarterback. I don't got to worry there. I'm gonna save that to my last pick. So I'm gonna take a third receiver. I need a more slot. Route running type. I'm gonna take. Ooh, I'm between Polk and McConkey. I oh, have Leggett and Mitchell. That's an not, obvious choice. I, I have an obvious choice out of those two. That's an obvious choice. I I think I'm I'm, I'm leaning more towards especially specifically because it's a slot. I'm probably gonna go McConkey. If you want the ball, I, it's McConkey. Like, I mean, yeah, but I also like him more as a deep threat. But I already have two deep threats. If it's me, I'm going either way. Alright. We're going we're going we're going McConkey. I think we need we need some uh we need some uh, white receiver blocking on my offense that's gonna be running the ball twenty oh, times. Yeah, a game. but uh problem is he can't block, but he he'll get block. he'll he'll try his ass off. He doesn't need to. I have everyone else can block. He just needs yeah, to put a fucking helmet block. on his... He can block. There's not really a receiver that shit that can really Hamill. Johnny Wilson? <laughs> he's not that good of a blocker, though. I mean, he's not, but he's big enough to just get in the way. Okay, oh, I, have this, I have this guy I'll named Devin there. Carter, and he has a high run blocking grade. I don't know who the hell it is. I forgot about him. I don't know who the hell it is. Devin Carter, I have no idea who the hell this guy is, but he has a... He has a... Who the hell is this guy? Devin Carter, decide <laughs> to tune in. I forgot. I watched receivers a long time ago. <laughs> he's a West Virginia University receiver. He's he's he can block people supposedly. I have to look at my scouting report again. Um, but he has All like a right. uh, Moss. You got back to back picks now. All right, we are going to we're going to go back to the interior of the line and go Cooper Beatty. Okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. My guy's still there. 
And then... Is your boy Christian Haynes? No. You can, that's that's like shocking. Him. I love Christian um, Haynes. And then I'm going to take my other linebacker. And I'm on Tyrese linebacker. Knight out of UCAP. Tyrese Knight? Tyrese Knight. <laughs> Now you. That is my linebacker three. Well, I swear I have like a seventh on this motherfucker. Seven? He tackles a lot of people. I have that's, to be watching. That's what I, I need my linebacker to do. do. Yeah, but there's uh, there's there's a couple better guys here you can you can draft to tackle people. Okay. You could have to that guy last round, and I wouldn't. I still never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Simply that? because, go ahead. Let's go ahead, Moss. Defend your guy. Defend your man. Defend your guy. I was just Listen, I, so okay. I look at him om- almost the same way as like a like an Ivan Pace type deal. Like Ivan Pace turned out to be one of the better linebackers in the NFL after being UDF after being a UDFA. Simply because he was under. I'm not saying he's gonna be tonight. bad, but you could have took that guy but, any round you want. Cause I haven't heard of him, and Owen has never heard of him. But listen, never it's a matter of filling the hole. And I don't. Outside, of my other holes are tight end, receiver, and safety. Y'all ain't yeah, you can, you can take a receiver. There's so many receivers, and there's no good tight ends outside of Bowers. So, so I might as well fill that. You keep Don Holker's name out your goddamn mouth. Take <laughs> the linebacker. I don't even fucking know. That's fun. well, hold on. So, how does he mesh with your current linebacker? And uh, it was a Mike Williams. What the fuck was his name? James uh, Williams. Williams. So James Williams. James Williams. Okay, uh, your linebackers are 220 pounds and 230 pounds. Good fucking luck. Yeah. That's, that's how I want them. We we cover in the past all day long. You can run as long as you want. I'm running on both of you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm I'm not even going to fuck. My offense is going to take two knees and I just run the ball for 10 yards of fucking carry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like, so I have one position left that I know neither of you are going to. I neither are going to. I don't think either of you have the uh, guard left to take. Or we're gonna take the guard I want. Um, I have a nose tackle, which I have two of them on the board that I'd like. I like one more than the other, but neither of you are gonna take that guy, and neither of you need a quarterback. So I'm just gonna take a running back because that's the only position that can get sniped for me. Ray and I'm Davis, gonna take Ray Davis. Ray, Ray Davis, Davis, my boy, RB one, baby. I don't think anyone was taking Ray Davis either, though. So yeah, that's um, fine. I didn't. Want, I just knew because you have such a stack team at this point, you might have just been an asshole and taking him anyway. Yeah, I yeah, that is true. Okay, so I had to, so I had to secure that. I have linebacker, center, running back, tight end. I think that's it. That's that sounds about right. Yeah, you should yeah. have four spots. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start taking those moss shots here on guys that are just like shouldn't be in this draft. Uh, so, as you know, first of all, running back, I'm just going to go Trey Benson. That's just easy. Okay. Now when he blows I, his knee out in week two? It's fine. I don't need a running back. I'll throw the ball. I'll fucking Malik <laughs> Davis and no running back. I'll take Jay and Daniels or something. I'll be fine. Uh, and then, I'm going to be an asshole to Owen, and I'm going to take Darling Hulk. Damn. That's fine. I don't have another spot for him. Oh, that's but, true. You have yeah, Bowers, so it doesn't even matter. But I was yeah. going to Tavion, and I don't know. I just kind of wanted. You didn't go with your boy Eric Gall? I love me some Eric Gall, but give <laughs> give Hulk a little shout out there. I like Hulk. So, you know, you already did. All right. So, I'm I'm specifically saving quarterback for last just because fuck it. The, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, prima yeah. Donna, that, that prima donna can wait. Um, we're going to go. D tackle here, my nose tackle. It's going to be Christian Boyd, the nose tackle out of University of Northern Iowa. Yeah, I watched him a little bit. He was, he was pretty solid. I like, I like him. I, I like him a lot of upside, especially oh. if when I rotate Dallas Turner down to be my edge rusher. He can kick over to be a one-tech or even three-tech. He played he played nose, three-tech, one-tech, five-tech, edge rusher. Yeah, he did everything like from you and I. He was clearly like the best him. athlete in the field. I have a third-round pick, a third-round grade on him. I'm really high on, on Christian oh, Boyd there. And he's 320. I think he can hold up. Well, that's a, that's a good one. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh. All right. <clears throat> I'll close out this round with wide receiver out of Oregon, Troy Franklin. 
Of course he did. Bone next fucking fan over here. Um, <laughs> and then open up to the next round with Jatavion Sanders. Yeah, I just wanted to take Holker because I don't know if anyone was taking him. I was not. Uh, I love me some Holker, but I, I didn't have a spot. I, it was between him and McConkey for my last wide, off his weapon spot, and I was definitely taking McConkey. All right, so I have my. All right, see, so yeah, I have two picks left, right? My math, yeah, corner or a quarterback and left guard. We're going to take the guard. It's going to be Christian Mahogany. Oh, Mah- I forgot okay. about him. Oh my god, I forgot about Mason McCormick. Fuck. <laughs> that, that's. <laughs> Shout out to Christian Mahogany. Like like my video I uh, I posted about him for last year's draft before he blew his knee out. Um, or I never turned, but I, I don't think he has any. He has some tackle upside, but I don't think he's going to play a tackle in the NFL. Can but Mason he's McCormick definitely uh, play good. Can you play some? He's a he's a big boy. You got Zach Frazier on the board. Just take Zach Frazier. Yeah, but I want to get a guy that I have a guy in mind that uh, I don't think people might know about. His name is. I don't, he's more of a guard, but he played center in college a little bit. It's Dominic Pooney out of Kansas. I like yeah. that kid. I watched him when I was watching uh, my boy Jason Bean. And he was just fucking cooking people. So I was like, oh, who the hell is this guy? Great him. Come on to be like a second round. Great, so I'll take him. And then linebacker's the only spot left. I'm just going to take Cedric Gray. It's the only other guy I watched. Uh, I like North Carolina. Carolina. Or no, North Carolina. Yeah, wrong guy. Is the only other I, I don't I like him better than Jeremiah Twada, so I'm gonna take Seth Gray. That's, That's pretty much fair. my main reason reason there. But yeah. So for my final pick, I've I've actually not decided what quarterback I wanted yet. Looking at how my offense is run, it is going. It has a, a weapons over the middle of the field with McConkey and Bowers. It has two deep threats with Logat and Mitchell. We're gonna run the fuck out of the ball with Ray Davis, Latham, Mims, Van Pran, Mahogany, and Guyton. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna Bowl some people over. JJ so I need somebody. <laughs> yeah, I need somebody who's no to... I need somebody who can who can run a play action heavy offense that works off the run, isn't afraid to hit the ball over the middle of the field. JJ McCarthy. I'm between him, <laughs> but I think, I think I <laughs> think. See, I am between him and Bonex right now. I have McCarthy. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day. I have I move Bo Nix above Penix. I mean I have Rattler above Nick still, but I don't have Nick Daniels above cannot Penix. throw the ball with the middle field. He hasn't done it yet, so that's exactly. I Daniels. I thought about Daniels for the read option part plays, but I was like, no, I need more of not like a straight up power run scheme with over the middle throwing. So we're gonna go with uh, McCarthy. He's got some extra leg. He's just the highest graded between him and Nix. Actually, no, fuck it. We're going Bo Nix. We're taking Bo Nix. Well, this one's it. for you, Moss. I had I thought about Bo Nix from the beginning. If I want somebody to come in and just run my offense the way I want it to run, I trust Nix more than McCarthy. McCarthy, I think, has the upside, which is why I haven't graded higher. Uh, it, but if, I, if you're playing, if well, you legit ball, describe Michigan's offense, and you just went a different direction. I was going to say, if you want someone to hand the ball off, I saw a lot of that from JJ. That's McCarthy. JJ. They, they you, wanna, you, they you describe Michigan's team. offense was his play action. <laughs> Is is run the ball twice and then say fuck it, you ball JJ and cook on third and twelve. That's the whole offense. All right, fine. <laughs> fuck you guys, then. I'm taking JJ McCarthy. Don't do it. Take Don't JJ. Do it. Take JJ. Take my boy. Taking JJ McCarthy. I've been convinced. You just I, I don't, I don't offense. You went bow next. I don't like McCarthy. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm not gonna run a lot of RPOs in this, so that makes sense. I'm probably I probably won't do that much of that. So I'll, we'll go JJ McCarthy run on my roster at quarterback. I feel like if quarterback desperation wasn't a thing. Like McCarthy in any given year would be like a mid to late second round pick. Like, I see. I don't. I watched about seven, eight games of JJ, all twenty two. Like I went in. He is. There's more than you see on the broadcast that's gonna like say. Like the more I watch him, the more I like him. I, I like, get that. I just, when they allow him to them, like they'll run the ball twice, and it'll be like third and fifteen. And I'll be like, okay, fuck it, JJ, you cook now. And he just throws an absolute fucking seed far hash. The problem is he's, he's the ultimate game manager in, in the NFL that's game. That's all I need him to do. That's all he needs. But that's all he needs. Game manager. Somebody who can stretch the field to get Mitchell and then 
Tearing the ball off. He had an absolute fucking vodka arm. It doesn't, it's not like a Joe Mullen arm, but like, it, it's pretty good. It's a I pretty solid. Alright, I will, uh, I will close it out. I need one more safety to round out the, uh, the pass-heavy team on both sides of the ball. Who the fuck is the next safety? And... It, oh, I, could go, I could go Bullock. I could go Proctor. There's Javon Bullock that's pretty good. I like Wisdom, Aladapo, Evan Williams, but I'm going to take Jalen Simpson out of Auburn. Of course he's taking his fucking Auburn. It's his other pick there. There are so many better options. And then that will put Simpson at strong. So Simpson can play free. All right. So what we're going to do a roundup of our teams real quick. I'll go through mine just to kind of set an example of how we're going to go through it. We'll start with my offense. Now, I did leave some players on the board. I originally came to this thinking I was going to grab just like these multiple pl- positional players like a J- uh, Jaheim Bell and Johnny Wilson and just run the ball with that and just have them move around the formation a lot. But I ended up going with a little bit more firepower because I got a little afraid from Scotty's team. So our offensive line, we got left tackle, Tyler Guyton, you know, 6'8", 330. We're, we're moving some bodies. Left guard, Christian Mahogany. That's straight power right there. Same thing with Cedric Van Pran at center. J.C. Latham, a right guard, and Marius Mims, a right tackle. I have some absolute monsters up front. So we're going to run the ball, and that's going to be accented with a lot of 11 personnel with Brock Bowers in there. And then our wide receivers are Xavier Leggett, Adonai Mitchell, and Ladd McConkey. Handing the ball off to Ray Davis and doing little else is going to be J.J. McCarthy. And then looking at defense, we're running a more of a multiple front. We're doing a 3-3-5. Our three down linemen are Darius Robinson at the 5-tech, Christian Boyd at the 0-tech, and Mason Smith at the 5-tech. A lot of We can move those guys around a lot. I'm not really too worried about pegging them into one specific position. Our rotational pass rusher here is going to be Dallas Turner, who's technically our third linebacker. My other two linebackers is Peyton Wilson, who's going to be wearing the green dot. Absolute beast of a linebacker, just hopefully he can stay healthy. And then our run defending special is an Edrin Cooper, who's got some athletic upside plays, can even chip in with some pass rush himself. So he could be like my other outside linebacker if I want to drop Turner. And then we have that corner, TJ Tampa, Ennis Rakestraw, and Mike San- Sanristil. So we're just running a lot of man coverage with our back end being protected by Tyler Nugent and Dadrian Taylor Demerson at safety. I like my team. You know, you know what, Scotty, you talked a lot of shit. I think I like my team. Your team's better than Mosses, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my team's got one goal. Go, go, on. go ahead, Moss. Run, run your team down. Oh, Moss. All right. So, on offense, we try to go with a zone run. Uh, kind of like a load you to sleep type offense where a lot of quick hitters, a lot of short runs, and then every once in a while hitting a shot over the top. So, we got Drake May. The ultimate take what the defense gives you quarterback. We got Raylan Allen, who I think is the most versatile running back in the class. You uh, might have to pause there for a second. What, what? Drake May is the, the all you can no no fucking shot. Drake well, May I saw I, Drake I, May bounce flat routes like no other fucking quarterback. Like <laughs> But I'm not saying <laughs> like Drake May's gonna saying, he's gonna get over like, what the defense gives him. He may not get it. That's Drake May. I mean, give him the flat. He he's throwing the flat. Yeah, You're talking about your first overall pick right there. Your first overall pick it bounces five yard flat routes. Hey, you you can you can iron that out, but I think he's got the best mind of all quarterbacks in this class. Wow, over your boy Bo Nix. All right, so you got Drake May, Braylon Allen. Finish it up. Nice. Uh, tight end, we got Tatavion Sanders, a big body. Receiving core, we got Marvin Harrison as the X. We have Troy Franklin as the Z, and we got Worthy in the slot. And then the offensive line, we got a lot of uh, agility blocking for zone scheme. So we got Anim Dankwa at left tackle, Graham Barton at left guard, Jackson Powers Johnson in the center, right guard Cooper Beebe, and right tackle Jordan Morgan. And then you're running a zone scheme with Braylon Allen at running back. Yeah, you forget Braylon Allen ran a four four. I know, but his fork is the sloppiest shit I've ever seen. It's like I'd rather just tell him hit the hole. It's, it's like Theo Johnson. Johnson he runs a four four. It really doesn't matter what your football yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, Moss. It's like Theo Johnson. 
he he ran. He might be the fastest tight end forty wise, but then I put him down while I was wearing my scouting report as like unplayable athleticism. He did, it, that shit does not show. I get up. that. I get that. But Braylon Allen, it shows up, and That's it's a, a matter of you cannot tackle that man. My the, my forward concern is more that he just gets, doesn't get his feet set before he makes his hard cuts. So if you want him to run a stretch zone or like some like multiple. Well, you know, yeah, all openings right. haven't decided. He's not going to set his feet and get that strong base before he gets tackled in the backfield. But again, a lot of the critiques are things you can iron out in a matter of NFL coaching. All right, so let's let's hear your defense here. Your your pass so, your pass stopping defense. Yes, we got the we got the ultimate. Go ahead and run the ball defense with a four two five. So we got. On the edge, the Penn State duo of Chop Robinson and Adisa Isaac. We got our three tech of Braden Fisk and one tech of Tavondre Sweat. Um, our linebackers are going to end up being James Williams and Tyrese Knight. Our green dot is going to go to our slot is Cooper the Gene. And then our uh, two corners, Quinion Mitchell and Nate Wiggins, can play whatever defense is called. And then Cam Kinchin will end up playing with Strong and Jalen Simpson playing with Bree. I'm so pissed he's still Kitchens for me. <laughs> I needed that back end playmaker. I I feel All like right. I, I feel like my team is a matter of flying to the ball rather than you know having to line up in the box. I feel like Moss's team would absolutely sh- wreck in Madden. <laughs> Yeah, it's all fucking speed. Huge. But <laughs> unfortunately, uh, so all right. you know, Owen That's said funny. he wants to go with a, a one heavy type shit. Moss said he wants to go pass heavy. I can do fucking both, easy. So <laughs> O line, Joe Alt, white ta- white tackle. Uh, wait, left tackle. Oh right, yeah, uh, Joe Alt, white tackle. Fuagu, white guard. Dominic Cooney at center. Uh, Troy Fatanu. I think that's how you say his name, left guard, and Olu Fashanu at left tackle. Got a whole bunch of mix of guys in there. Can pass, block, can fucking. We got. We can do fucking everything. Uh, quarterback, obviously Caleb Williams, dude's best player in the class in my opinion. Uh, Trey Benson, my RB one. Good, good, another stud, I guess. Uh, wide receiver, Walmart Dunes has the X. By the time of junior, is your, you know, deep threat, you know, Z type guy, neighbors. All you can do, slot guy, you can go fucking one slot phase, whatever the fuck he wants. All good with me. And then Dallin Holker, who's going to be kind of like a blocking tight end, but you can also have some receiving threat in, in him too. So, I mean, we can do everything on offense. Defensively, it gets kind of weird, but who cares when you're scoring 55 points a game? Uh, so, <laughs> defensive end, uh, Liatu Latu, dude, dude has an absolute fucking bag. Uh, Jared Verse is the more power rush type guy. Uh, D tackles is interesting because I have two. Very good three tacks, but hopefully they combine and hopefully stop the one somehow. Uh, so I buy a Murphy and Johnny Newton at, at Jazan. Is it Johnny or Jazan? Who's what's Jazan. Well, it's Nick, Johnny's his nickname, but it's Jazan. People, it's people say both. So hopefully they combine as a one tack in one situations somehow. I don't know how. Uh, linebacker wise, Junior Colson, who's gonna be your thumper, stop the one. Cedric Gray can also do that. But he also, I think he had like five interceptions on the year, so he could line up in man coverage if he needs to. Uh, corners, the, the Bamba boys, Terry on Arnold and Kool-Aid. Safeties, Cole Bishop as your free safety. Gene Hicks as your in-the-box strong safety type guy. We have Tyke Smith in the slot. So defense is not as good as the offense, obviously, but I think I have the pieces that uh, stop Owen. I'm not too concerned about stopping him <laughs> off. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, I I think I have a f- I put up a first fight fight with you, Scotty. I feel like your offensive line blocking might be a little too all over the place with just DPA. I don't know how your scheme is going to play out, but we'll see well, how. I have the, the, the best players in the draft. Like that's all I'm at is this point. That's fair. Well, my laptop is about to die, so we're going to end this here. I'm going to edit this down from an hour fifteen to probably shorter than that. Hopefully, right around fifty minutes. But I'll thanks, guys, for going on. on. Yeah, I'll st- I'll start. I'll, cl- I'll make sure to make some clips of this so, to dunk on Scotty. But uh, well, I'm that's for our- Austin offensive tackle in the sixth round. Like, <laughs> so that was our all draft eligible to all 22 teams we drafted. 
Uh, we did not do specialists like Scotty wanted to do. Maybe I'll have Scotty make a YouTube short talking about his favorite. Yeah, luck out, dude. <laughs> YouTube short. I'm all fucking punt the ball. Jesus Christ. Why am luck out? Watch out. Watch out. Bro, watch. I want to know who everyone thinks has the best team here. I personally think I can I can win a game against either of you. Scotty obviously thinks his is the best. Moss, I wouldn't want to catch in Madden at any time. So we'll see how, how it plays out in the comments. But other than that, we're done here. See, the problem with Moss teams in Madden, though, is everyone's going to be so low overrated rated that it's not going to fucking matter. Because how <laughs> it's going to be a six overall. Like, so we're running by everybody. It doesn't matter. My players are going to be fucking matter. 85 overalls.